Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I'm joined by my really good friend Peter here. Um, we're off looking for, for crabs. We're on the hunt for some crabs. Smooth out season is incoming. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to go out and try and find some peelers and take you guys along with us. Uh, Peter's going to explain how to identify a peeler and then we're going to go looking around to see if we can find anything. Do you want to add anything? No, just uh, hopefully we find a few and... Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find a few and be able know, to show you guys... Get uh, fishing for those hounds. ...what it's like. And then um, I think the next part of the episode is I'm going to try and link up with Peter and we'll go fishing for some smooth hounds. That's the plan, using the crabs that we have found today. Uh, obviously, the best, thing, the, 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 the best thing that we can suggest to you is to check your uh, local IFCA for the rules upon taking crabs in your area and the limits and things like that. Um, the other thing we want to say is always support your local tackle shop. Um, and try and get into the tackle shop to buy your crabs but on the off chance that the tackle shop may be closed and you definitely want to get out on a session this yeah. will help you uh, locate some crabs to be able to do so yeah yeah right let's get, let's get looking right and so to tell that if a crab's a peeler peter's just gonna just gonna show us now so so it's the easiest way to tell if yeah. a crab is a peeler get off is that the end of the claw if you take away the end of the claw like that that leaves the white bit that's not a peeler right okay so okay if it was a peeler what would it do if it's a peeler yeah then it would leave as if the leg was still there it would leave the meat behind okay all right so it would look exactly the same as the claw as when you take it off yeah okay so that one all right but the ones that are not peeler will come out with a white bit okay and uh um, and what would, what would happen to that leg yeah. now you, now you're taking it off then would it, would it, would it that, grow that, it back that will that will real yeah, the crab will regrow a new leg um, if the whole legs come off. But normally, you just take the end of the claw off and it grows back uh, fine. No, um, no long-term damage to the crab. The crabs are used to uh, losing their claws as a defence mechanism. So on this, the bottom one is definitely a peeler. Okay. All right. And the that's... other crab is protecting the other crab through the peeling stage. Okay. This one's giving a little piggyback. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in a, in a, a non-rude way. They hold them underneath. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But yeah, good spot. Right, so Peter's just going to show us the difference then between this crab that was at the bottom. I'm just going to check the leg. All right, okay. Yeah, as you can see there, it's left the uh, the fleshy part behind. So that that tells us that the crab is in its peeling stage and is ready to rock and roll. Nice find. Is it soft? Yeah, it's soft. It's probably about a week, a week or so off. Yeah, for being like um, for fishing purposes, but it's uh, yeah, it's a peeler, all right. Nice size razor fish there. Shame the occupant has disappeared. Another way to tell that the crab is uh, starting to peel in stage is uh, by how soft soft it is. I mean, this one here, as you can see, I'm pushing it down. It's pretty spongy. So yeah, that make a good good crab that one. So when we go crabbing, the sort of area and the sort of terrain that we want to look. For crabs is places that are, are rocky you know we want to look underneath the rocks and wrap in and around rock pools and things like that to see if we can find anything that's lurking underneath as uh, crabs do like being under the rocks obviously for safety and things like that but you will find them just out and about on the sand as well Obviously going at night time, the crabs are more active, they're more about, or well, we find to be fair, when you pick them, um, they're, they're more active at night time. Where there's no natural light spoiling things, and they become less of a target for hunting things like birds. That one just sitting there, a very small one. He's not long killed. Nice one there. Let's get him in the old bucket. I mean, this sort of area here is absolutely fantastic for uh, looking at crabs and for picking crabs. So I'll just come down. Oh, very smooth. Well, look at that. What's that? Part of an oyster in it. Hmm. Is it? I think so. Wow. 
Amazing what you find on the beach, isn't it? <laughs> Not what we're looking for, though. All right, so I'm going to have a look around, have a gather, and um, we'll see what we can come up with. Nice big crabs there. Look at the size of that fella. Absolute hench. Oh. Put him back. There he goes. Yeah, I mean the the ones we want. I mean, how big would you say is is a, is a, is a crab? Ooh. That's a decent size. If that was a peter, that, 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 that would be decent crab. That would be classed as a decent size peter. Pro crab. Prime size bait. So I just found this little one here, and he's in, he's in a rock pool with another crab. So we'll have a look at the other crab in a minute. But this one's re just recently peeled. Look, we just pull away the top. They're there. Is that recently peeled, or is that just that's dead? Recently peeled, yeah. So and it's so, that, that's the crab that's peeled. So that's 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 the shell there in the in the rock pool that we found. That's and this, the one that's and this one here is the one that's peeled. I mean, look how soft that is. That is an absolutely fantastic bait. So the difference between crabs. This one here. Oh, if it's not going to pinch my finger. Ow! Look at that. Make sure you wear gloves. I mean, if you're coming down with kids. Ow! 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 <laughs> look, definitely, definitely want some of my glove. Usually pick them up from the back like that. I mean, look, look at him go. Look, he definitely doesn't want me holding him. Definitely doesn't want me holding him. If I was having bare fingers on that, I'd pretty cool. I can feel that through the glove. <laughs> through the glove. Bugging me. All right, so the difference between crabs. This one here is what we class as a general short shore crab, which is here. Looking at the bottom, it is a male. Checking the carapace are. at the bottom. Uh, Peter's got a edible brown crab there. Um, now this size you can't take because they're not sizable. Yeah. So I mean, what? what We'll put a list of sizable um, crabs for the Southern Ithaca in the comment section below. So you've got this one here is a shore crab here, which is absolutely hammering my finger. And the one there that Peter's got, the more rounder looking one, is a edible brown crab. Look at the size of that brown crab under that rock there. I think that one's a, I think that one's eating size. Look at that. That's big, isn't it, that? Wow, that's a nice big crab. That is a big one. Size of that That's fella. Probably eating size. Yeah, size of that. Absolutely massive that, that one. That is probably an eating size crab that. I think that one will be coming home in the cookpot for me. I think that's definitely in. <laughs> yeah, size yeah, of that fella. That's a bit that's a bit it's bigger than my it's bigger than my hand, so look at that. That's a few that. Absolutely cracking crab. Right, just to show you then, Peter's just pulled up a rock one of the rock pools. Uh, or Peter's just pulled up a rock from a rock pool, should I say. We found these, uh, as you can see by the bottom there, these are what we call buried females, I'd say. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop them back. Don't take these ones. These are the, these are the future crabs, which are all underneath there. So pregnant females there. So we're going to pop them back. And let them run away and hide, and hopefully they'll be the ones that produce all the, the new crabs. How you doing under there, mate? There was a peeler under a crab and it dropped, oh. it dropped off. When you, when you pick up the rocks, it's always important to replace the rocks where you found them. Yeah. Definitely really right. important to do that um, and try not to disturb the ecosystem too much. I can't see anything on that one. That looks like a good one, Pete, that one there. Oh, he's got, he's got a big one there. Look at the size of that shore crab. Pete, hold that up for a minute. <laughs> it's definitely trying to make sure there's night underneath it. Grab that one for me, let's have a look at that. Oh <laughs> that is a bit that is a big shore crab that is. The beast. Look at the size of that mate. It's missing one core. Imagine if that was a peeler. It's very rare that you find peeling. Find the big ones. Size. Yeah. That actually peeled. Let's have a look at that. Bring it up to the camera a bit more. Wow. Big one. Right, this crab here is a velvet swimming crab. They are angry, little, the big ones are angry little rascals. Um, how to tell it's a velvet crab then? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the crab and look at the front. The eyes are pretty much red. They are feisty as anything. And if we turn it around this way, the uh, paddles on the legs are very decorative. And they're just a cool crab. I mean, like I said, the big ones, if we find a big one, I'll show you. The big ones are really angry. But uh, yeah, these ones are velvets. Some bigger size rockful fish there. Give them a nudge and they'll move oh, as quick as anything, aren't they? 
absolutely rocket speed. There it goes, up against the rock there. So, so that, this is what I'm talking about, about the velvet crab. Should Pete just hold up flat so I can see it flat? Just to show you the identification of a velvet crab. Now these guys are pretty nasty. I mean, I don't want to demonstrate, but if you put your finger in the, in the front, they'll literally nab it straight away. Identification, like I said, the eyes there are bright red. Then the patterns on the swimming legs and the rest of the body is usually a dark, looks like a marbled effect, would you say? Yeah, it's yeah. Um, the, the top of it's like a bit like velvet, hence the name velvet swimmer. Oh yeah. I never knew that, so you learn something new every day. Right, again, like I said then, find out if it's a peeler. She'll take the take the leg. One leg. Twist a little bit and pull. And then what we're looking for is that. Also another thing when you're on the beach, if you see things like this, please do pick it up. Um, you know, it's important to to protect the kids and things that come down to the beach. Which is here. Yeah, very dangerous. Look at that broken glass bottle I'm going to pop that in my bucket and we'll dispose of that but I mean if, if, if a kid come down here uh, playing on the sand that could be very dangerous to them or very dangerous to you know pets and things like that right guys so that is the end of the uh, the, the crabbing session to be fair didn't do too bad did we really no I mean, it weren't too bad about, about 10, 10 roughly decent sized crabs each uh, and then a nice find of a big brown crab as well uh, which is pretty good with, isn't it? yeah I mean, I mean no. You, gotta say, you don't want to take too many crabs from the from the from the area, you know. Otherwise, it's, otherwise it's just gonna you know, destroy the area that you're, you're trying to get the crabs from. Really, to be yeah. fair. Yeah, um, exactly. So I hope this video has been helpful to a couple of you. Uh, hopefully, you'll go out and find a couple of crabs for yourselves. Please don't forget to do support your local tackle shops uh, and get in there as, as and when you can, just to, to, to buy your bait. This video is just for people that you know don't have a tackle shop near you, uh, or that just want to come uh, when the tackle shop's closed, just to grab a couple of crabs for your session. So thanks very much, Pete. Yeah, nice one, thanks for coming yeah. in, Jace. Cheers, mate, it's been a good one. Uh, and we'll see you on the Smooth Hound video when we go out and try and talk some Smooth Hounds with the crabs that we've got today.